Hello. Welcome to my presentation on using the GIMP or the GNU Image Manipulation Program to create professional quality book covers. My name is Brian Jackson and I'll be the, leading you through the use of this free tool uh, running on a PC in my case showing you how specifically to make book covers. Now before we proceed I'd like to talk a little bit about the GIMP. Again it's stands for the GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's a free image manipulation program. Now first I'd like to discuss what is an image manipulation program as opposed to a photo image manipulation program that uh, fixes red eye and uh, automatically sets uh, color balances and stuff like that. Uh, image manipulation is a little bit more sophisticated and has to do with moving big chunks of image around and doing effects and stuff such as that, complex effects. This is a free image manipulation program from the Free Software Foundation or the GNU project. Now, one of the cool parts, other than just being free, is that it runs on PCs running Windows or Linux, and it also runs on Macs running Mac OS, or whatever version you have. And the GIMP is a lot like Photoshop, if you're familiar with Photoshop, only it's, it's free, which makes it very appealing uh, as the uh, basis for this course. Now, as we're going along and we're designing book covers in this course, uh, this is the only point in the presentation where I have slides, so it's the only place where I can put this in. Here's some con design considerations that you should keep in the back of your mind. Um, you should ensure that the text on your book cover is readable. What text are we talking about? Well, there are two big hitters, the title of the book and the name of the author. We want to make sure that those points jump out off of a book cover and in some case we take steps to make sure that that's the case. Check me as I go along to make sure that my text is readable and that it doesn't get cluttered within complex images. Maintaining a visual brand. As, you, as we go through these demonstrations you should be thinking of your own visual brand. That's colors that you'll use across a book line or across the books in a series to tie them together and to give a hint to the user that these books are related. You might use similar colors, similar fonts, similar types of images on the covers. Think about your own visual brand as we go through these demonstrations. The other is keep it simple. Don't get too complex and lose yourself or make the images, images on the cover so complex you can't read the text. Keep it clean and professional looking. Sample from other book covers. We're going to go out and look on the internet and we're going to look at some book covers that I produced so we can sample ideas like colors and uh, arrangement of blocks of text, text fonts and sizes. All of these are considerations that you need to take into, uh, that you need to be taking when you design your book cover. Now the environment I'm going to be running in is on a PC running the Windows 7 operating system. I'll be using the GIMP 2.8.10 and the Chrome browser to browse the internet for images and other resources that we're going to use in the course. Now this doesn't mean that you can't run this course or follow the examples on the GIMP running on Mac OS or on Linux or that you can't use some other browser. Um, GIMP runs pretty much the same on every operating system. It looks the same once you get into the program and a browser is typically a browser. So your environment should be fine as long as you kind of have these three components. You have a PC or some kind of a, a, a computer, you have the GIMP on it and the latest version, and you have a browser. Now I want to keep these two simplifying points in mind as we go through the course. We're going to learn how to use the GIMP to create high quality professional caliber book covers for your self-published books. This is going to help us to keep the book simple or keep the course simple by not going into the uh, more intense subjects within the GIMP that aren't required to make a simple book cover. And just because a book cover is simple doesn't mean that it doesn't look, that it doesn't look great. We're going to make great looking simple book covers. Another way that we're going to keep things simple is that we're going to dole out a lot of the image uh, manipulation work to professionals by buying inexpensive high quality images off the internet for use on our books. Pull in a nice looking image or two, and you can really snazz up a simple book cover. 
Now, without ado, we're going to start the course by showing you how to install the GNU Image Manipulation Program on Windows 7.